What is up everyone and welcome to another video. In today's video, obviously we are going to be talking about everything that happened in the direct that we just watched. I just watched it a few minutes ago and I'm putting this out as soon as possible. I'm going to be skipping over all the small stuff, so Pokemon Snap, and I'm going to be getting right into the big stuff. So first I want to talk about the Diamond and Pearl remakes. What do you guys think of these games? Obviously, I've never played the original Diamond and Pearl games so i will probably be buying these games but i know a lot of people as soon as i saw those chibi graphics that you're probably seeing on the screen right now i immediately knew that some people are going to be upset and i just want to go ahead and say the battles they look normal right all the sprite work all the normal pokemon battle system right um but i do think that people are going to be upset with the kind of chibi designs of the overworld um i saw somebody comparing it to link's awakening Kind of like those chibi graphics um and i think the link's awakening game was the, um, the remake i think i think that was actually a well-received game so as long as and i think they're keeping the same story i think i don't know if it's going to be like oras where they are going to have like primal dialga and like kind of implement a kind of mesh story with the original with like some new aspects like maybe mega evolution or like some new megas or stuff like that uh they didn't really give us many details on it they gave us some gameplay obviously normal starters you look the same as normal they said that the story was going to be faithful to the original so i'm not pr pretty sure that it's not going to deviate too much but uh we'll have to wait and see but the bigger news i want to talk about is pokemon legends arceus um as soon as i saw the game as soon as i heard the music you could instantly tell the vibe they were going for and um obviously you're gonna see a lot of people comparing it to breath of the wild but i just want to say that that game looks incredible um, it's they're both Sinnoh games both the Sinnoh remake and this game. They both take place in Sinnoh um, The only difference is that for let's go or for Pokemon Legends Arceus is that the game takes place many many years in the past is what they said So there aren't really like the big towns in Sinnoh yet Obviously all the Pokemon are probably gonna be different from what you've seen in the past uh, The starters are actually Cyndaquil, Rowlet, and Oshawott Obviously you would normally never see those three together as the main starters because they're in different regions But what they said is that the Pokemon professor who they did not reveal um, Brought these Pokemon here from different regions that he visited So obviously he would get the starters from different regions and I think that's a really cool idea It's something that they've never done in a previous Pokemon game, and I think it's going to be really Really cool obviously the big thing that I want to talk about is that it looks to be open world like breath of the wild and your goal is to be going to be to complete the first ever pokedex so that means to catch all the pokemon and you can actually catch the pokemon outside of battle right so you you throw the pokeball while moving you can roll around um, I'm obviously gonna be assuming that there's a chance that the pokemon will break out but another thing I wanted to say is that it doesn't it's not perfectly clear if you can if it's a seamless transition from open world to fighting because they did also show a fighting screen where you could do a traditional pokemon battle like moves like you could use there's the four move slots obviously you have your hp or your level right they showed all of that in the trailer but they also showed some animations outside of battle which makes it seem as though you can do both so I want to see what you guys think about this down below. Obviously, I am really excited for these games. I would say I'm more excited for this game than Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Remakes. Or uh, the names for are Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Uh, also, let me know what you guys like about those names. Do you guys think those games are happy? For people who wanted Sinnoh Remakes desperately, are you guys happy with this? I know some of you guys are going to be upset and talking about how the games are ruined and childhood is ruined. Uh, I think that's an over-exaggeration. Uh, I saw some people complaining about the FPS for some of the, uh, for the Arceus game. Um, I just want to say that they announced that the game would be releasing early 2022. So that's still probably over a year of development to fix the frame rate issues when developing. Obviously, Pokemon has never, this is a new era for Pokemon. They said it themselves. They've never developed a full open world game. So I think we should be lenient with the trailers and we'll probably get more updates as the time goes on. But I'll make an analysis video on that game on the Pokemon Arceus trailer later today. But with that all out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are hyped for this new era of Pokemon, and I will see you guys next time.